Okay, everybody got that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, we call the order of the special board of uh, selectmen uh, for the 3rd of July at 4 p.m. to order. Uh, we have everyone here, thank gosh. Um, so um, we can get right to it. We've, Connie's on here, I see. Um, so first we need to uh, accept Wendy Murphy's letter of resignation. Did y'all all see that? Um, if not, I can read it um, uh, right here. I saw it. 60. Yeah, Different I saw things. it. Okay. Um, let's see. Hold on here. So I think, I wonder if that makes her the only original Com Conservation Commission member. It might. It still was serving. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, so go ahead and read it into it. It says, uh, from Wendy Murphy uh, to the Board of Selectmen. Please be informed that I am resigning from the Kent Conservation Commission, an appointment that I have held since 1999, uh, when the commission was spun off from the Inland Wetlands Commission. It's been an honor to serve the town in this capacity. Thank you, Wendy B. Murphy. So, um, so I'll make a motion to uh, accept the resignation with regret. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'll second that. Great, thanks, Brad. Okay, any discussion, Connie? Are you are you off? Are you she, still here? She, she just left for some Popped reason. Popped off. Let me make sure it was there, I guess. Okay. Um, well, the only discussion I had is that, we, you know, we've had the um, kind of the guidelines, really, that we open it up to uh, at least four new people. I know that uh, the Conservation Commission and Connie is planning on moving uh, people into different positions. I uh, wanted to give her a chance, um, if anything else, to talk to that. But... Um, do we want to make a recommendation that they open up um, their chairman and all that to, um, you know, open uh, a week or two, um, whatever it is? Um, membership? Yeah, membership, membership on the committee? On the commission. And, and then, um, I mean, it's up to them to, to decide if they want. I don't know if we, we wanted to recommend that they that they open it up again. Or uh, is this such a just a internal um, uh, adjustment that uh, we can just go ahead and waive that? You know, just because we've been, you know, like I said, we've always talked about trying to open up. Um, to have anybody who wanted to apply or, or to um, uh, let's be informed of openings uh, that might be uh, of interest to somebody to allow them a chance to, to put that in. So I don't know if you want to make that recommendation to the Conservation Commission or in this instance to let them reassign their, their new board. I, I read the minutes, but I'm, I, I can't remember all the details. So Wendy wants to step down as a regular member, but she's willing to serve as an alternate. Is that right? Right. I think that's a recommendation uh, from, that's what I was going to ask Connie. Um, I think that's their plan. I believe that's what we had said before when I was there at the June meeting. I think that's what they had talked about. So, And who do they want to appoint as a regular member? <laughs> that I'm not sure. That's a question I'm not sure of. I know that they wanted to um, uh, bring up um, both um, Jean and um, Melissa as co-chair of, of the commission. Uh, so... Um, I don't know how we get you know, do, um, So, how do we want to do that? Do we want to? I mean, they already have people available. You yeah. Know? Like we talked about it on Park and Rec, and okay. there was a strong feeling that it, if you have somebody who's an alternate that can fill a, a full membership, it's the best way because they already are informed and everything yeah. of how yeah. that commission works right I, I don't really have an issue with that either uh Lynn I, you're right that, that that's nice to have someone up who's been working on different meetings is that uh let me see somebody else admitted in let me get someone else in um yeah I I have no issue I just wanted to bring that up because we had had kind of mm -hmm. made that as a as part of our guidelines uh, as we've got started um but in this instance if the board isn't, uh, if we feel that the, the commission needs to make their own adjustments with the people that they've got, bringing Wendy back on as an alternate, I'm not, that was a question I had. I'm not sure who they want to bring up um, full-time. I know that McCauley's stepping down. I believe she wants to stay as a member, but did not want to uh, to be the chair. So, um, I think because, this phone number is Connie's. Yeah. Oh, is it Connie? <laughs> Are you there, Connie? Hi, I'm so sorry to be like coming to you from like the ether, but there's some weirdness with the signal here. And, and even though I checked it about half an hour ago, I, I, I couldn't get in uh, to the meeting. Very strange. Um, anyway, uh, I can certainly tell you what our plans are and what we've 
voted on previously, if that would be helpful. Please. Yes. 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 Great. Thanks. So, uh, so Wendy has um, graciously agreed to cede her spot as a full member uh, by, uh, you know, by resigning, which uh, resignation you have. Um, in order that we can raise up our alternate, who um, at this point is Jean Speck, uh, to become a co-chair along with Melissa Chernisky. Uh, and that all of those votes um, took place in May at our May meeting. I, uh, you know, Wendy, as, as you probably know, um, you know, I'm glad, I'm so glad she's not really retiring, uh, but has agreed to remain involved because she's really been uh, the heartbeat of this organization. She's been on the Conservation Commission since its inception. Uh, she's been primarily responsible for two really important town publications, the Natural, Concert, uh, Natural and Cultural Resources Inventory, the NCRI, uh, and the Trails Guide uh, that so many use and love. Um, she was instrumental in getting the Western Clean Air Action uh, Task Force, um, Western Connecticut Clean Air Action Task Force going uh, when Cricket Valley was just coming up and running and making sure that uh, towns were adequately prepared to monitor their air quality and so many other initiatives. So she's really um, given an amazing service to the town. Uh, but as I said, very glad uh, that she's not actually retiring. Um, she would like, and the commission asks that Wendy be uh, appointed as an alternate now that she's resigned her full seat. And we would ask that Jean Speck be appointed as a full member of the commission so that that um, transition in office, uh, which is taking place after quite a protracted uh, term of succession planning, uh, can go ahead and take place in this July meeting. Right. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, you, yeah, that uh, we want to do that. I, I really don't have any objection to any of that. I think that's a that's a good plan. <clears throat> Again, you know, she's a you know, she's a treasure. She really is uh, for the town. And all you guys, as we said before, uh, Connie, your work has been outstanding and, and such a, a great leadership role. So, and I understand also the uh, desire sometimes to. You know, want to back off a little bit from the from the leadership position it, that you've served so well. So, um, well, it's more of a healthy way of operating because if you only see one person in the leadership for a really long time, it becomes increasingly harder for anyone else to imagine themselves uh, fulfilling that role. And uh, certainly, the role of a chair is something that could be accomplished by many different people using many different styles and. Uh, you know, having uh, change uh, in an organization is a really good thing. So, uh, so I'm not going anywhere either, but I am really pleased to, um, you know, to retire from my role as, as chair and see what others can do with it. I think it'll be a really healthy and terrific change for us. That's great. Okay. Um, so um, I guess I, at this point, if we, I don't really think we need to make a motion at all. I think that we can just accept that. Um, the uh, leadership, of, or you could make that motion, accept the leadership that uh, the commission, uh, Conservation Commission has put forward um, and endorse their uh, their move for their um, their July meeting. Does that sound good? I mean, you think that's going to be okay because it's not on the agenda that way? Because otherwise, we're going to have to have another meeting to, okay. aren't we? <laughs> well, I think- when I was at the agenda, it seems like posting under post the new position. If I told you that you didn't need to post the position because we had already voted and that we were mm -hmm. directly asking you to appoint Jean as a full member and directly asking you to appoint Wendy as an alternate, that that could fall under that agenda item. Maybe, yeah. maybe I'm you know pretzeling it, but but it seemed like that might fit if you were so inclined. Yeah, I, I agree with you, uh, Connie. I, I, I think under posting, we can either accept that or, or waive the posting and then just go ahead and do that if that's what Yeah, I, I'd feel more comfortable if we did a 
we did a motion. Can we just uh, vote on accepting the resignation and then do a second motion? Do that. Absolutely. We, we, we still have, we, this motion is ongoing right now, right? Right. Yeah. The, the right but... Wendy is, is on the, is on the, yeah, the yeah. right now. So we can just, this was just a discussion overall about the movement, but we kind yeah. of be in there as well, but we can just vote on the motion to accept Wendy's uh, thing. And then we can go ahead and, and make another motion on the post. Yeah. Okay. So, so okay. Um, the motion is to accept Wendy's, um, uh, Wendy's um, uh, resignation from the um, commission. So, Aye. Aye. All right. Okay. okay. All in favor, I guess it would be all in favor. Yes. Aye. Okay. And so um, I'll make a second motion of um, that we will endorse um, the changes that the Conservation Commission has recommended of because um, we actually appoint them, right? So that we would um, appoint uh, Wendy as an alternate member and move and and as well as Jean as a full member. Jean Spec. Right. Right, exactly. And then it's up to the commission to actually do the appointment to the chair. Right. right. Okay. That's a, that's a good motion. Motion to accept Wendy in as a as a um, alternate and um, to promote Jean as a full member. I will second that. All right. All in favor, then? Aye. 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 Okay. Oh, great. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Connie. Appreciate Thank your time. Thanks um, to all of you. Really appreciate it. And I'm going to sign off now unless you think that you need me. <laughs> we we probably need you. But <laughs> not right now. Thanks. <laughs> have, a, have a great uh, July uh, Independence Day, Connie. Thank you for coming. So. Thanks to all of you as well. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. So, number three is performance appraisal policy. Um, the, uh, I'll, I'll tell you right now. I, I'm drawing a blank on exactly why that's back on there again. Because um, you wanted to amend what we talked about. To amend with the what we'd previously talked about. I don't think we actually ever voted on it. Oh, that's right. We never did. So, <laughs> I and, and I don't have the paper in front of me that we we do, but I can. We can go back and recover that from, um, I think we had discussed it, we just never actually voted. So um, we can go ahead and then and, and vote to accept the appraisal policy um, that was in our um, 1st of July meeting uh, on Monday. So we can just do that then. Uh, I'll make that motion. Thanks, Lynn. Um, I'll second it. Okay, can, now you were going, to, you were going to clarify right, the, what exactly, what positions Right, I haven't had a yeah. chance to do all right. Exactly, which okay. we talked about. The, the we'll have that um, as we get going, and I probably I don't know if we'll need to do the actual names or the positions uh, until our regular meeting in July. Um, I can look at that if we have to do that be, because the um, of the appraisal policy itself. Um, you know who's exempt, as we said, and who is uh, actually to be held part of the appraisal process. So, um, I, yeah, I don't have the I don't have the exact. I haven't had a chance to do all that. Uh, going through all the different uh, assistants and so on to make but sure. But it's, it's what we have talked about is that it would not apply to seasonal, seasonal employees. Right. right. Like the summer direct, uh, camp director and things like that, but mm -hmm. the ASP director, because it is a long-term, um, you know, five day a week position. Yeah. We would accept, we would require that person to be in. I have to look at, I really need to, to take a look at everybody's um, structure to make sure that we're not missing anyone that if we, you know, if they're and get with some of the other commissioners to make sure, or some of the other directors, excuse me, to make sure we have it when there, but um, yeah, it's going to be all the, the, the directors, any assistants uh, and so on. Um, you know, we'll just say like Josie and in, in the tax collector's office, uh, Lynn in the town clerk's office, um, Jimmy in the, uh, uh, the assessor's office. Um, and then there's the treasurer. I have to talk to, I didn't get a chance to talk to uh, um, Barbara about her assistant, Marie, and how that would work because that, that she's in a special situation, but I probably, sh she probably will be included in that because she is the assistant right now. Uh, she yeah, works. I mean, I, I think it should apply to any yeah. part-time employees who are not seasonal. Right. Exactly. I don't see why it would not. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree. You know? I agree. Got through that. So, it, but I will get the, I'll get the full list of, of everyone to make sure that we list who is 
um, who is going to be uh, a part of the appraisal process. I just wanna make sure every position is listed. And I, I just haven't had a chance to do that right now. So it's a follow on to the policy. So. And at one point you said not the transfer station attendance, but I don't, once again, I don't see why they would not be included. Yeah, um, and there's only one right now, so. Um, but as a, in well, terms of policy, they, because they're part-timers, they're part-timers. Yeah, you know, part it doesn't really added. matter that they work one or two days a week. It's yeah, and we do want, employees. You know, you're right, and we do want to include them in that in that um, that special uh, selectman's uh, account that we have to uh, to allocate uh, you know that funds as well. So yeah, you're right. That would be part of it. I mean, they you know to get that they need to participate. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, make sense. I don't think Rick has an issue with that. Again, I I'm just. Yeah, but we'll just nail that down with everyone. So everybody understands exactly what that is. Yeah. That'll be our going for it. And I, like I said, I'll have that all laid out with, with each position. Um, so we do have that in the record. And when will you communicate this when will you communicate this policy to the to the yeah. employees? That will come out after this meeting, after Monday's meeting. I'll probably get a chance to write it all up on Friday. I'll, and you know, because it's follow on to the uh, the actual policy I'll, I'll, I'll broadcast or you know send that off to you guys as well so i'll have a chance to do that uh, friday okay. uh, i'm back in back in the office on friday okay you okay with all that one yeah i'm good yeah okay all right um then all in favor of the policy that was um, um adopted um or it was uh, explained on monday it, yeah. it, uh, monday um go from there in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Great. All right. Town hall hours, that thing we did, um, I just asked for a, a motion to rescind that motion um, as is. No further discussion. I'll make a motion to rescind the motion. Thanks, Lynn. I'll second that. Okay. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Do we have any pop? Thank you for all that. Um, yeah. Um, uh, I just to follow up. I did talk to uh, one of the reasons I rushed to get back here is I I did uh, talk to um, Captain Bowden too, and uh, and so we'll try to get some of the information back out to the public about there is no there is no closing of uh, town hall any day. Um, even though some people thought it was every day. That's all gone. I, I will be working on Friday, so the selectmen's and the first selectmen's office together will be open on Friday as well. Um, you know, to serve the uh, the public, so it's it a customer service office. So um, that's really the the cleanup on that one, I think. So okay, okay. Right. Um, any other public? I don't see any other public on. Um, but um, and uh, any other anything else you all have to offer for anything on that? Okay, that's it. Well, thank you. Um, have a great Independence Day, everyone. Okay. Happy Fourth. Great. Happy all right. Fourth. Take a motion to um, wait. Oh yeah, to make a motion to adjourn. So moved. All right. On paper. Bye. Right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, have, a, have a wonderful uh, Fourth of July and Independence Day. Hope you yep, get to too. Great. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, everybody. We're done. Bye. Great. Thank you.